guys, welcome to my channel, Ortiz Apple Tree. We're asking Spirit to show us the person on your mind. The person on Leo's mind, accurate general messages here at Ortiz Apple Tree for the sun, Leo. The person on Leo's mind and Leo's heart, around Leo, is coming towards Leo. What does Leo need to know about the person on their mind? Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mars, North, South, East, and West, Man, and Woman. Accurate general messages for Leo's here at Ortiz Apple Tree. Okay. All right. So we have death, and then we have Ace of Pentacles. So we have an ending and a beginning, okay? We have Scorpio. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, this is a transition someone is going through. They could be like growing up, as some say. Or this is a, someone that's ready to settle. You know, they're no longer for the streets. They're retiring. They could be retiring, really retiring, but they could be retiring from, you know, being single and just ready to settle. This is someone who could be coming into a settlement. And this is someone who has stopped drinking, stopped clubbing, like they're drinking water, they're detoxing, they're healthier. They're walking away from what's no longer serving them and they're going towards their happiness, their Ten of Cups. For some of you, this could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo like yourself. Someone who's very attractive and got a lot going on so they could match your energy, Leo. So let's look into this energy more for the person on Leo's mind that wants marriage with Leo. Like this person is willing to change to have something new. Look, 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 look. The thug is in reverse. This person, like I said, they don't want to be for the streets anymore. Off and on, hot and cold, detached. They don't want to ghost anymore. Like maybe it's been off and on with this person. You come across this person's path. And now this is someone who is in reverse. So this is someone who no wants to, they don't want to play themselves. Um, they're, they're retiring from the circus. See the little clown face on there? It's upside down. And the last card is legal matters, divorce property, criminal paternity test, child support, traffic ticket. It's in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, this person has bailed out. They've done their time. Um, for some of you, this person could be pregnant and you just want to make sure it's yours. So there could be a paternity test ordered and, um, or this person could have a pregnancy scare. Uh, for some of you, this person just got a divorce or they don't want to divorce. If the two of you are married, they don't want to break up. They don't want a divorce. Or is someone who is in the process of going through a separation or a divorce. This could be someone who um, is needing to update their tag or their driver's license. Or they have a traffic ticket. They know how to slow down and drive um, better than before. For some of you... This is this person may have property and there's like something having to be legally split with property. But this is someone who wants to clean up their act um, because they, they're looking at how they used to be. This is someone that's growing up, someone who's maturing. I don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> so let's get into these messages. Just keep in mind that this is very general, Leo's. So um, you want to receive what resonates and leave what does not, okay? Okay, so for some of you, um, Leah, this could be a Scorpio, or it could just be someone who is going through some type of ending and walking into a new beginning, a closure they have, and it's causing them to go through like a spiritual transformation. This is some type of new beginning where this person can let go of endings and transition. So this is like a transformation for this person, and it's, it's a confirmation with the Ace of Pentacles being right next to it, New Beginnings. So this is an energy where they're having a fresh start in life. Um, and for some of you, they are, like I said, they're ready to draw the line under the past and move forward. This could mean, um, you know, they're wanting to work on not clinging to their old patterns. Maybe they have, you know, uh, matured and grown to know um, how to react. It's not really about how a person acts, but sometimes it's how a person reacts. So this person has learned themselves through this transformation, through this change, and um, this is someone who is wanting to walk away from what's no longer serving them because they're embracing this big change that's needed and they're not taking anybody from the past with them. They're letting go of old patterns and issues to make their life, you know, better. So as someone who, um, they could have a lot of pain that's deep in their heart that they would never tell you about, right? 
um, because it takes time for people to um, heal, especially if this person just got out of like a marriage, like, or they could be in a part, like a part of a separation, um, going through a divorce and you meet them and it's like a new chapter you can have with this person. So maybe there's some, a pain that, you know, is still yet to be healed and removed. I feel like for some of you, this is someone who, um, I want to say could be, could have been a victim and they survived a really bad marriage or situation. Um, this person could have had some type of illness or some type of trauma that could have led them close to death, but they're like a survivor. Um, but this is an energy where uh, this is someone who is casting off old beliefs to embrace something new and they want to bring new love into their life. So they're really happy to have met you. For some of you, um, this is an ending and a new beginning with someone who um, is also having like a financial new beginning in their life. This is someone who has like a new financial opportunity. They could even move to, you know, job related. This is someone who um, is really good with money and investing and savings and they're really secure and stable. They're able to, um, you know, um, hold their own. You know, this is someone who's motivated and they're ready for a challenge. They're ready for this change. And this is someone who knows that they, anything they put their hands to can be prosperous, can be grounding, and can be very abundant. This is someone who um, has a lot of areas in their life that are in order, that are stable. You know, you know, people think that because someone goes through a divorce or they move or, or they have a breakup or something that their life is just, you know, chaos. And it could be like that in energy, but in physical, this person, they have their own. They know how to make their dreams a reality. I feel like they have everything except for healing of some deep-seated pain and maybe um, a partner by their side. But that's where you come into play, right, Leo? For some of you, it's a fresh start in terms of love this is someone, um, you know, I don't know if you knew this person before or you, uh, you know, helped them heal with going through this breakup, this divorce and moving. This is someone who, um, this could be like a new feelings you can connect with this person, but, um, you could, you could have met this person through work or through business. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, you'll be meeting someone new soon. And this person is going to be able to provide you with like a sense of security and stability. This is someone who's mature and um, they're very experienced and they have like a grounding influence in their life and in people who are around them. So this is someone who could be blessed and secure. They know how to make money. Okay. This is someone who... Um, is excited about their next steps and they're also like really healthy they could be juicing a lot um they could really be um trying to balance themselves mind body and spirit this person may be praying or meditating you know this is someone who is going for opportunities and they know they have to have their spiritual um their spirit right too so this is someone who is really in tune with themselves and they're wanting to secure a stable future. So they know they got to do the inner work as well as the outside work. And it's all about balance. So you're meeting someone who is finding an inner calm and, and they can bring peace to you. For this temperance to be here with this ace of pentacles, for some of you, this is, this is the one. This is the one that's worth living with for long term. This is, this could be the one, this could be like the earth angel. This could be, um, your soulmate coming into your life. This could end up being your soulmate. This person has been through conflict. They've learned not to allow themselves to be dragged into other people's conflict anymore. This person has lived and learned. They don't let minor issues knock them off balance. You can actually have a decent conversation with this person. It's not going to turn heated or com combative or... Um, debatable is you know this is someone who knows how to adapt to situations with a clear mind a calm heart and they know how to keep their balance so this is someone who is finding peace they're really getting in touch with who they are inside what they want what they don't want so if you're coming with this person you like come with it this is someone who um it's all about value and 
and, and their moral compass and aspirations and their goals. So they want a partner that also has a nice balance of love, commitment, respect, and the same thing, shared goals, values. So I feel like this person is someone who wants something that's harmonious, something that's peaceful. They may live by a river or a lake or they like to go to the beach or this person is up in the sunrise. Before the sun wakes up, this person could be up doing yoga or praying or meditating or, or going for a, a jog in the morning in the neighborhood. This is someone who um, has been enlightened and um, they, they've learned how to balance areas in their life in order to make room for a loving partner to come into their life. So um, it's like perfect timing, right? And I feel like they are wanting to attract the right partner to them, okay? This is someone who um, is detoxing, cleansing, drinking waters. They could be taking vitamins, you know. They could, um, you could have the same religious beliefs. I feel like this person may struggle from abandonment issues, though. And they have to look deeper inside to, you know, um, see why they're so afraid of you maybe you know abandoning them maybe they've been abandoned before they've been disappointed before they've been in a bad situation that they had to leave and so you know um they're they're looking for strength and courage to do what's necessary to um you know know what they want that's quality in a relationship with someone this is someone who may have moved or traveled or they want to travel they want to move they want to relocate this could be a someone at a distance that you're talking to that is really kind of like lonely. Like I think this person's like a loner. They're kind of lonely. They're very introspected. I feel like this is someone who is looking for truth, um, looking for maybe spiritual guidance. And I feel like this person, maybe the two of you, because, you know, it's the on and off again. <clears throat> Hot and cold, detached, ghosted card here. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So, Leos, you could be dealing with someone who has a fear that keeps them detached. Someone who um, is so weary about relationships that their fear uh, keeps them um, where they're just kind of like cold and just detached. You hear from them today and tomorrow. You don't hear from them. And I feel like this person's realizing that there's something deeper within themselves that they got to resolve so that they can move on and have a healthy relationship that's steady. Um, this is someone who left a bad relationship before. They're weary about relationships now. and But they're choosing to let go and heal themselves. It just takes time, you know. But they're lonely, so they know that they got to, you know, they got to get back out there in the world and rejoin the world and, and start that new chapter because the opportunity is here for the meeting, possibly a soulmate that um, could become uh, long lasting. So this is someone who has trust issues with believing in love. This is someone who, um, due to a bad past relationship or abandonment by parent or, you know, by partner, it's preventing them from believing in love, Leo's. It's preventing them from trusting people, you know, to be in a relationship with them. And it's really sad because there's so much potential with this person. This person's like an earth angel. There's so much potential. And it's so sad that, you know, people are out here hurting earth angels. Just just ruining their karma. You know what I mean? Hurting earth angels, you know? So I feel like um, you met an earth angel, but the heart is very guarded. Um, this person doesn't want to be a clown in a circus. They don't want to entertain any clowns. And they just want to make sure that they find someone that gives them that true satisfaction. And so I feel like they know, okay, because like, like I said, this person is be becoming enlightened, okay? They're becoming enlightened, right? And they're becoming more soft because the thug is in reverse. This is someone who's not like hard. This is not like a hard person anymore because they got to be careful to stay soft and in balance you know masculine and feminine yin and yang have to be a balance with everyone but i feel like this person knows they need to move on from a situation that no longer serves their purpose with this this eight of cups they know they need to heal they know that throughout all of the things they've been through they have received self-discovery and personal growth and so this person has intuition look they're enlightened they have intuition and are trusting their intuition to follow their heart's desire to their true purpose in life, right? 
And it's like this person going on a journey. It's like they may want to move or relocate or spiritually they're moving on to a spiritual new chapter that gives them a journey towards spiritual enlightenment, like I said, and fulfillment. And now this person is learning patience, balance. They're learning letting go of the past Leos. They're making the job easier for you. You don't have to feel like you got to wait on someone to fix themselves. They're already on it. You don't have to feel like you got to change someone. They're already on it. They're changing death card. is changing transformation. Spiritual enlightenment. This person is maturing. They're growing up. They're very wise now. They know what it is they have to do. And they have to give themselves patience and be moderate in everything, balance in everything. But this person is, you know, having the courage and the strength to be willing to venture into the unknown of the dating world again. You know, and um, they're relying on their intuition, of course, to discover true purpose and, and meaning in their life as well as in their love life. And then along came, came a lion, Leo. <laughs> So this person's minding their own business and it's like you guys cross each other's path yet again. <laughs> okay, you know, apparently there's some type of attraction there. There's some type of energy there to keep bringing the two of you back together. There's um, some kind of sexiness, independent, funny energy, passionate energy. You know, this is someone who would like to take charge. Um, their life is organized. They've made room for a partner to come into their life. So this is someone who... Um, can match you with being able to uh, multitask, you know, um, this is someone who is, you know, um, never boring. This is someone who could flow with your vibe, Leo. Um, this is someone who, if you want to, you know, start a family, this person is still very much capable of, um, you know, meeting you halfway to plan a baby. Um, there's an energy here where some of you, um, there's going to be a right balance of, a right balance of independence when you meet this person. A right balance of independence and fun and sexiness. Look at that. Could be a water sign, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it definitely could be um, a Sagittarius or, or a, you know, it could be any sign, okay? It could be another fire sign, just like you. And they're very confident and they're very attracted to you, vice versa. So look at that, you know? So this is an energy where... Um, you be confident as well when you meet this new person. Um, again, it's gonna be it's gonna feel like the right balance, and um, it's gonna be mutual. So I feel like you know when it comes to um, the energies again, on and on again, off again. If there's someone you already know, and this person has cleared their past, they have learned, they have grown, they're they're free, they're single now, they're not in a bad marriage or a relationship, they're out of that. And I just feel like this is someone who, um, you know, on again, off again, relationships or connections or friends with benefits or what it, whatever. It it usually is um, a cycle, a cycle. You know, but there's an opportunity here to turn the cycle into um, long term with the Ace of Pentacles. Because um, this person is now healed. And I feel like you got to be honest with yourself about your needs and considerate of each other's feelings to build that healthy, trusting dynamic that someone feels like they don't have to be the first to walk away to avoid heartache, that they. They don't have to fear being abandoned again. That they don't have to get on an ro emotional roller coaster and repeat a vicious cycle. I feel like for some of you, um, this person is making a decision to maybe, um, like, th this is someone who, like, if you were to start dating and you want to get married or something, they would be um, ready to go in with you on big financial decisions. Like, this would be somebody that would want to get a mortgage with you or buy a car or take out a significant loan together, you know, in terms of the future. This is someone who would be willing to put that effort into making it work now. And I'm saying that because um, I feel like the on again, off again, hot and cold, detached, ghosted card, it's like giving me two of pentacle vibes, you know what I mean? And two of pentacles is like even though you may have a lot going on in your life, they have a lot going on in their life, it still goes right back around to temperance, which is balance. You know, two of pentacles on again, off again, ups and downs, you know. The original right away card has like a person juggling. So it's trying to find a balance, you know. 
making financial decisions, um, the ups and downs that life, normal life has. And it just reminds you to, um, you got to put effort into a relationship to make it work. You got to maintain balance in a relationship in this challenging. It's, it's easier said than done. But if you want it to work out and you want to turn off the switch of off again, on again, and you want it to last, then you have to make it a priority. And um, so you're going to have a choice to whether you are ready to make space in your life for this new relationship, Leo. You know, and are you ready and willing to adapt parts of your life to make room for this person? You can't hurt this person. They've been hurt before, remember? You, they don't want to go through the healing process and then trust love again and they get hurt again. So you got to make sure you come correct as well and be honest with yourself. You know, are you ready? <laughs> um, but I feel like, you know, if this person's freshly out of a divorce, the legal matters are resolved, is in reverse. You know, sometimes divorce can actually make someone afraid to commit. And so you got to be sure not to rule out the possibility that this person is afraid to commit just because they were married before or just because they were committed before that that could have really ruined it for this person, you know, so you still have to keep in mind. Yes, this person may have been in a long relationship or they're divorced, but ha has it created fear in them, you know, where they're um, not wanting to marry again. So make sure you're on the same page. And the end goal of what you're working towards, dating towards, courting towards, you don't want to feel blindsided by someone suddenly saying, oh, well, I don't want to get married again, or, you know, or, I, you know, I have PTSD. So you want to make sure that what level of healing they're on. <laughs> but I feel like this person's on a healing level where they are actually letting, walking away from the past, okay, with the Eight of Cups next to it. This person wants happiness. They're ready. So I feel like... Um, this person could have been blindsided by someone falling out of love with them. They could have been, you know, betrayed. So just make sure you're clear on this person. Are they afraid to do it? If they're afraid to do it, nobody wants to waste anybody's time, right? If you're going to put effort in, you've got to be willing to go 100% or nothing at all. And then I feel like it should be an ultimatum where if someone goes this time around, then poof, be gone, stay gone, Casper, you know? It's either we do this, we're on like Donkey Kong, <laughs> or we're off, okay? Like gone. All right, so I feel like, um, but a balance, keeping yourself on balance to make a choice um, to have like um, give and receive, going from strength to strength, no one-sided um, relationships. But I feel like this person has justice in their favor. Um, they're, they're about truth and integrity. The, the legal matters is resolved. It's in reverse. Um, so I feel like this is someone who, I don't they might not even want a big wedding if you decide to get married. This is someone who might want to go to the beach and have a beach wedding. But this is someone who has received karmic justice. They've learned from past. Um, this person has legal matters being resolved in a fair, balanced manner in their favor. This person could work in the legal field. This could be another veteran or this could be uh, someone who's an attorney or someone who um, is a police officer or someone who works with children. They could work with children. They could work for CPS. They could work in a criminal department or they could work for the government, you know. Um, but this is someone who makes pretty good money for themselves. <clears throat> like I said, they got everything together. They just don't have a person by their side. This person might like to go for walks. Um, they like being around the water. So I do feel like this is a possibility for some of you to really have something here um, that, you know, is, is strong and that can stand the test of time for the future. You got to just make sure this person is on the same page. You know, um, you don't want anyone taking advantage of anyone before becoming too emotionally invested. You, um, you want to make sure you're clear of any hidden agendas or ulterior motives, you know. Um, so you don't want to become too emotionally invested in a situation before you know there's clarity and that there's security, there's stability, there's the end goal that you both are on the same page to reach and that this person has really changed. They're not fearful anymore. They have the ability to let go of the past. Okay, so intentions out on the table, just like credit, right? <laughs> 
but you know this is um you know um you don't want anyone that's holding on to emotional baggage um you want to just be honest and open about intentions to see where this person is going because i really feel like this person does want happiness in their life um you know i feel like this is really an opportunity that could be made legit um i feel like um this is a new beginning and this person does want their ten of cups they're they're they've been searching for the one they've been searching for a while look at them they've been searching they drink from this cup it's not fulfilling they drink from this cup they're still thirsty they drink from this cup and it's bitter they drink from this so they have been dating they have been get, going, getting out there and dating and they're still looking so they're still single and i feel like this is ten of cups right here this is the eight of cups but the two of cups so this person wants this person's already content with himself the temperance but i feel like they are ready for marriage now they're ready for a long-term relationship ten of cups is here this person's already happy they want to share their happiness they want full true contentment with someone this is someone who um they know how to be fun too you know they know how to have some fun you know um they know how to take life up a notch um they won't be bored i'm telling you this this is someone who is all about family um this is someone who um you could you could already have been with and this is a, like a reuniting with them ten of cups but for some of you it could be a happy harmonious relationship you know if you want to move from the off again on again ghost level to um the next level of commitment you can move into that and you can have children and you can have the white picket fence and the happily ever after with the ten of cups in other words it could start a, no, a new long-term relationship that can give um, stability, security, okay? And I feel like some of you are so mature, Leos, that you're, you're ready for that too. You're looking for that type of relationship and that's what you're going to get, okay? So, you know, and, and one more thing, because I really like to do math in my readings, um, Numer numbers are very powerful so okay that here's the ghosted card that reminds me of the two of pentacles you know juggling and stuff on again off again up and down the line so that would be three of pentacles here on the table right so it's all about learning each other okay it's about commitment and giving 100 percent to build a successful foundation that will stand the test of time that is honored by God and vows. So some of you, you've really worked hard or really hard to overcome your own challenges. And so you have effort as well that should be paying off as well. You got money of your own too. Separate bank accounts is what makes the world go around. Always remember that when you get married. But I, and you can have a shared, but you can also have a separate one. But I feel like for some of you, do what you want to do with your finances, but I'm just giving advice. But this is opportunity to put the effort in to make things work. And like I said, um, um, if you want to go through counseling before you start, I don't know, it's up to you, but, um, growing together is really what it's all about. <clears throat> really the counseling starts and it never stops when you're in a connection because you're counseling each other. You're each other's beginning and end, you know, you're each other's strength and best friend and stuff like that. So it's really deep when you find the one and you grow together, you learn about each other and then, you learn all about each other and figuring out how to share your lives with each other. <clears throat> and then so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that some of you are going to walk right into a new relationship. And um, for some of you, you already know this person. It's been on again, off again. You ghost them. You tag team with ghosting each other. For some of you, this person is the one. And you could let this person through work or through study. Um, but for some of you, this is the end all be all. It's just got to take both of you com coming across each other's path. One more again. One more again. One more again. And then that's when it's like the deja vu becomes more practical and tangible. And the real thing happens. All right. With that being said, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe here at Ortiz uh, Apple Tree. Um, and until next time, Leos, this is your person's true emotions. I create general messages here at Ortiz Apple Tree. Take care.